Okay, so this is the second set of examples for the first lesson of the Graphs and Transformations pack. So I'm on page three of the pack. So it says, show graphically the region represented by this inequality. Right then, let's have a think about it. So if I, what I'm saying here is I want the Y values that are below the curve. Okay, so let's think about the curve. If I was to graph x squared minus 4x plus 3 straight away on your calculator, it would look something like that, with a 1 and a 3 as the roots, and a 3 there as a crossing point. So that's straight off your calculator. Now then, got to think about what I want here. So I want less than, so it's going to be a dashed line. So it's quite hard, haven't it? It looks really to draw the curve dashed. So there's a 1, there's the 3, there's the 3. Right. I want below the curve. I want the y values that are below the curve. So I shade above the curve. When I show you on your graphical calculator how to do it, you can just switch the inequality on your calculator. <laughs> but just remember you've switched the inequality. So this is y is less than x squared minus 4x add 3. Right, let's have a look at the next example then. Right, so it says, uh, show graphically the region represented by y is greater than, so I want the y values that are above the curve, and then I've also got that one to look at. Right, so in your graphical calculators, if you just put in x squared minus 4x minus 5, you would have a curve that had roots at minus 1, and 5, and a y-intersect at minus 5. It looks a bit dodgy, this, really, because it looks like the vertex is on the y-axis, but it isn't. It'd be off to the side somewhere. So you make sure your vertex is off to the side somewhere. Right, now then, it's a greater than or equal to, so that's nice. I can just draw, draw a curve. So I've got all like that. There, see, my vertex is on the right-hand side. Minus 1, 5, crossing at minus 5. So this says I want the y values above it, so I'm going to shade below it. There. So that's my y is greater than or equal to x squared minus 4, x minus 5. Now I need to look at the line for y is less than 4. So if I put the line on at 4, so I've just got a line going across here, straight line at 4. Now I want below, I want the, low, the y values which are below, so I want the stuff in the middle. So I don't want anything above it. There. So that's y is less than 4. The bit I want is the region in between. When you're doing your shading, when you're doing your graphs, try to make sure that your graphs fill the axes and you don't just kind of take up a tiny bit of space. There's some more questions to have a go at, and there's also, uh, let's have a look, where's it gone? There's also these graphs to match up, and that ends the lesson one. So well done.